All right, I wanted to share with you today how you can use Google Classroom, um, your Google site, and Google Calendar to automatically update your website calendar just by adding an assignment in your Google Classroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump in here. This is our, my technology training. And um, I went ahead and put in an assignment called Six Week Grading Ends. Now, you have to utilize the assignment option, and I'll show you. Uh, by clicking on create assignment and giving it a title um, so after school technology help from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Um, and you have to give it a due date um, and even even if it's not like an assignment where it is a due date the due date really is the date you want it to appear on the calendar so if you're utilizing this for your classroom, you have to let your kids know, when I select the due date, that's the date I want it to appear on the calendar. So I want this to appear on the 25th. And it's after school technology help from three to five. So I'll be in my office from three to five to give anybody who needs any help, uh, technology training. I'm gonna click assign. So notice I have, I have two assignments in here, um, but they're just announcements. Now you may be asking, why didn't you do that as an announcement? Uh, because an announcement doesn't have a date attached and if you don't have a date attached it won't appear on your calendar so anything you want to appear on your calendar must have a date attached to it so it has to be assigned through an assignment now once you've done that you can click on the about page and just click on Google Calendar it'll take you right to your Google Calendar and you can double check and notice that your assignments have, yes, they have posted. Now, um, you want to make sure that you make the calendar public because you want parents to be able to see this. So um, you go to the calendar that you uh, are, are posting on your website. This, in this case, it's our technology training site. And I want to go to calendar settings. And under calendar settings, you want to click on share this calendar select share this calendar with others and make this calendar public and click save that's extremely important we're going to select save because this this calendar we want to appear on our website and if it's not open to the public then when parents visit your website the calendar will just say not you know you don't have permission to view this calendar it'll be blank so you want to make sure that you go through the settings again by clicking on the calendar changing the settings the share settings to all to public so it can be viewed once we've done this you don't have to do this ever again you don't have to go back and touch it you just go to your website double click anywhere actually we're going to select go to the top we're going to click on calendar this makes it easier and it's going to ask us to select which calendar we would like to add and that's going to be my BEC tech trainings I'm going to select insert and it's right there now notice there we have our two assignments air quotes assignments so that it can appear on our calendar it defaults to list view um, but if you'd like to change it to weekly view you can just go in there and change it from agenda to week and then it will show it as a week view right here. I'm going to go and make this bigger because I do want it bigger on this website. And um, if you'd like it to be month view, then you just go in here and change it to month view. And you can see them right down there. Now, once you've done this, you want to make sure you hit publish so that it can be viewed. Anytime you make a change to Google, uh, the new Google Sites, you have to select Publish for those changes to take effect. And I'm going to quickly click on the Preview option so I can see what this will look like. And if I scroll down, it is live and it is open, and I see them posted right on the site, right there. Um, I can also go down here and click on Phone View to see how this will look on a telephone. And you can see it does, you know, make it look a little bit weird. Um, at this point but they can always click on that to open up the calendar and view it in a larger format um, if you if you since since most of our students and parents do go off of uh, a phone you may want to change that to list view um, let me show you what that looks like if we just come in here and I select edit 
right up here by the cogwheel. And I change this to list view or agenda view. And then go to view up at the top. You'll notice that it does look a little bit better for cell phones. So it's completely up to you. You know your demographic, you know your students, you know your parents. So if they are going to be looking at this most likely on a cell phone, you probably do want to keep the agenda view just for that purpose. Now, this is all well and good for my technology training. It, it helps me update my website at the same time, utilizing a great LMS to push things out to my teachers. But how would this look like? How would this look in a classroom? Um, for your purposes, you know, I'm all about um, limit limiting redundancy. I mean, there's no reason if you uh, have computers in your classroom or if you utilize Google Classroom on a daily basis, there's no reason to write your agenda on the board and then also post that agenda in Google Classroom and then also go to your website and post the agenda on your website. I'm all for communication and I'm a huge proponent of allowing the parents to see what's going on in your classroom um, so that if, you know, the parent wants to help their student out, they can always check the website, see what homework is, is, is distributed so they can ensure that those students are getting that homework done. So it's incredibly important for us as educators to post what we're doing in class for those parents who want to help their kids in that fashion. Um, so let me show you how I do that from an actual classroom site. So I'm going to jump into my classroom uh, called Exploring Technology. And I want you to see that I post an agenda every class period right here. Um, and in that agenda, um, I talk about our big idea for the day. Um, I give them the week that we're in because we always post our blog links uh, via the week. So the week of September 18th was last week. Uh, I want them to know that the six week grading ends next week so that they can make sure their grade is up to par. Um, I ask them to check their website link to make sure that it's still live and that they're double checking that they're clicking publish every time they change their website. We do. Oh, let me uh, I, I, let me tell you that we do use websites in my class um, as a student portfolio and blog. So they do update that every single day. Um, we answer a Google Classroom question um, and that question is uh, pasted into their blog. So that's their blog and answer. Um, and then, but notice we just have everything that we're doing that day. And I make sure that it's posted as a daily agenda. Now I don't have to rewrite this every single day. I can go to reuse post. I can select the last agenda that I created. I can click reuse. I come in here and change it from Thursday to Monday. I change it from the date that it was on um, last Thursday, the 21st to today's date which is the 25th. Uh, our big idea today is going to be 2D drawings to 3D print. This is the week of September 25th. That's what they're gonna post in their blog. Six week grades end this week. Make sure I have your up-to-date web link and all blogs are up to date. Um, I, I actually have them check their student connect, which is uh, where they can see their grades to make sure that they can um, check on their grades. Answer the Google Classroom question. We always do that the first 25 minutes. Make sure they post that question in their blog page. Perfect. Um, we're going to change number three to introduction to 3D printing. And create. 2D art. Make sure that they know that the, their last project was due, which is their Google Slides animation project. And I'm going to set the, oh, and by the way, um, this is very important for me because 
after they've read the agenda, it says, if you have read the above agenda and understand what needs to get done today and what the homework is tonight, we don't normally have homework in this class, uh, but please mark the agenda as done. Um, and, and this ensures me that the kids are reading it. And this is the very first thing they do when they enter classroom. They come in, they get out their device, they go to our classroom, check the agenda, they read it, and then they mark it as done. And that's also how I take roll. Uh, I'm going to make sure the date is the date that they're coming in, which is today, the 25th. I leave the topic as the agenda and I click assign. So as you can see, we have due today, the daily agenda. The daily agenda is marked as the 25th. But let me show you. If I go to my exploring technology class right here where I have posted the, uh, the calendar in the same fashion that we did before, I can scroll down. And you can see that the thing that we just posted, the assignment agenda for today is right there. And if we take a look at it in parent view, my parents can go to my web, go to this website. They can click on the assignment and it brings up the description of everything that we did that day and what was expected. So the parents are in the loop and this is all done by me posting in Google Classroom. I don't post anything on my whiteboard because the kids don't look up there anymore. They all have tangibility and access to their devices. They can view what's there. And I know that they've read it by marking it as done in their Google Classroom. Now, even if you're not a one-to-one -one, or even if you're not a, a teacher who has uh, who uses technology every single day, it's still a great tool for you as the educator to use Google Classroom um, in this fashion to post the agenda. You can post the agenda from your cell phone and it will appear on your website. It will update it instantly. It helps give access to those parents who need access. This prevents you from having to um, you know, write it on the board and then go to your Google Classroom and then go and then post it on your website. It's just an easier way to post things for your parents to see. So if this was helpful for you, um, I, uh, I'm hopeful it is. Um, uh, just please let me know if you need any more information and we can go in and um, help you out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.